babes, it's Taylor and today I'm going to be reacting to Ariana Grande's Thank You Next album. I am so excited y'all. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to be crying, if I'm going to be shaking my ass. I really don't know, but I'm so freaking ready. So let's get into it. Um, real quick before we get started though, to feel like Ariana is here with us right now while we are listening and reacting to this album, we are going to light the best Christmas present I have ever received in my life, which was my Ariana Grande Jesus candle from my friend Alexis. Alexis, thank you. Um, this is like probably the, my favorite Christmas present I ever got. It's hilarious and you know I love Ariana, so you know me well, boo. But yes, we're gonna light this Ariana Grande Jesus candle and we're gonna light her spirit up in the room with us right now, so... Let me try to light this. I'm gonna attempt to light this. I'm not good at lighting candles, but I will try. So, <laughs> here we go. Ooh, okay. And voila, there it is. Ariana Grande. Hear it? Um, I'm gonna put her in the back because we don't want to catch my bed on fire. And honestly, if I hold this the whole time, I will spill, spill candle wax on my bed. So, we're gonna set her on my shelf back there. Okay, first track. <clears throat> First track is Imagine. We know this one already, but we're still gonna play her because she's cute. But the two of us, nobody knows us. Get in the car, let's go. <laughs> Kiss me and take off your clothes. Imagine a world like that. I am paying attention to see if there is going to be a story throughout the album. Um, I don't know if this is a story-based album. I haven't read like really anything at all about the album, but I love this song. We all know Imagine's about. We know we know she hits the whistle notes. Like, do we really even need to like talk about that? Honestly. And the next song called Needy. I'm scared. What is she needy about? I don't know. Um, whew, I'm nervous. I'm really nervous right now. Oh. Same. Same. <laughs> Every day. I'm fucked up. This song has me emotional. Whenever she said the part that was like too hard to control your emotions, sweetie. Sweetie. That song was way too fucking relatable. Yes, sometimes people people perceive me as not a needy bitch, but honestly, like I want some damn attention sometimes. Like I like say sorry way too much. Like way too much. So that song, um, I if I would have to rate that, I would literally say 10 out of 10 for me. That song was really good. I really liked that one. Oh my god, I can't okay, I need to shut the fuck up. Let's go to number two, which is NASA. What is this intro? Oh! Okay, Ari, okay. We hear you, sweetie. <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> Bitch, I need Like, Needy was really good, but that song was actually, I mean, both were really, okay, both were, like, extremely relatable, because I feel like sometimes I can relate to a lot of levels, because I have many different emotions that I don't know how to deal with. You know, I probably need space more than the average person. I like my space. I like being alone, like, a lot, um, but I also love being with people. But I have need space, I'm a, I'm a need space. I was like, Ari, can you say it a little bit louder, please? Can you Your bloodline, please. <laughs> um, that had me shook for a second because I wasn't expecting her to just be so freaking direct that she doesn't want you in her bloodline, she just wants to have a good time. Okay, Ariana, um, I hear you loud and clearly. <laughs> Same bitch. Fake smile. 
All these songs are starting off so interesting. Like, Ari, Ariana. Can y'all just please leave Ariana alone? She is like literally crying because all these people are writing such mean things about her. Just leave her alone, guys. We stand Ariana on this channel. Come on. Um, this one was about really focused on the media and how the media keeps fucking with her life. Everyone like tweets at her. Oh, like she's been through so much. Like, do y'all realize like how much shit this girl, how much shit this girl has been through in like the past couple years just leave her alone she is just trying to make music and have a good time I like how she still put an upbeat element to it you know because she's not gonna let what people say bring her down or at least she's gonna try not to but i'm sure it affects her still so guys let's just be nice no hate the world would be so much better if there was just no hate bad idea i wonder what her bad idea is gonna be what are you thinking about ariana i really like this beat Oh, okay. I see where this is going. Why is it it's slowing down? Vocals! <laughs> Wait. It's slowing down again. Why is it slowing down? What's going on right now? song has me quake <laughs> the change of tempo like i literally can't speak oh my god fuck. <laughs> that one was really fun i really liked that one a lot <laughs> um that song was really relatable because i have bad ideas all the time whenever it comes to relationships and i always want to just you know dive in with the girl and just get into this really bad relationship or you know a really bad experience and i'm like Taylor, you need to like control yourself because like don't do that. It's, we're always tempted, you know, for what's bad for us, but Ari is coming through with Ari is coming through with this track. I like to fuck with you, just to was like two minutes and something so not really an interlude but just i guess a shorter song you know she gets in a fight with someone they make up she loves it you know um can't really can't really relate to the song makeup it's cute um she she's definitely gonna have to be a grower on me because i wouldn't probably put that one on um we have ghostin i'm excited for this one i don't know ghostin like um i have a ghost emoji pillow so i think it might work for this song i don't know yet we'll see Oh my god, Ari. Ari. I'm sorry guys, I had to pause it because like I'm about to start crying. I'm honestly about to start crying right now. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. I wasn't ready for this one. deceased me i wasn't ready for a ballad like that i thought ghosting was gonna be some like type of you know she's ghosting some hoes just you know holy fuck that just shook my asshole oh my god that was a lot for me to take in and i feel like all of us as individuals when our friends get into like a sticky situation we're like stop talking to him or stop talking to her you know we just move on but we can never just move on that easily you know, they can't ever move on that easily. It's just, it's just so sad. Okay, this one's called In My Head. That you are trying to, but cannot fix. Uh, the only thing you can fix is yourself. Love only you can fix yourself, sweetie. How are you really gonna have me shaking my ass after ghosting like that? Oh my god. I thought I drew you out, bitch. 
happened. Those drums, those drums. <laughs> That one was pretty good. I liked that one. <laughs> the forget the some of the lyrics in that one. I was like, this bitch, <laughs> like this bitch didn't have to go there, but she did. Definitely wouldn't skip on the album. So there's not been a single skip, honestly, for me yet. So let's continue. We all know this one, so yeah, we know this one already. But we're gonna still bop our ass anyway, cause it's a fucking bop. <laughs> My neck is busting. Thanks. Just it. Seven Rings is that bitch. <laughs> I definitely have seen a progression throughout the album. I just wanted to point that out. So all the songs started off very... It started off like with Imagine. Like she's like imagining this world where everything can be like different. And then it goes to her relationships kind of how... You know, she was needy, she needs more space, you know, it was all in her head, like all that stuff. And then all of a sudden, like, she's like seven rings on these hoes. <laughs> she's like, bitch, I could buy my own red bottoms. Um, I could do everything that I need for myself. I don't need a man's, like, Ari, freaking snaps. See, we all know, thank you, next. I honestly, to this day, still listen to this like almost every day in my car. Hey, okay. Got so much love. She did her thing, guys. She did her thing. <sighs> keep, keep thriving, boo boo. Keep thriving. Ari. Fucking ready. She's coming for these hoes. Oh my god. <laughs> break up with the girlfriend. Her girlfriend Ari, but I'll break up with her for you. <laughs> she said she didn't even meet him. Oh my god. I am shook. <laughs> the part where I forgot ex I forgot exactly what she said, but she said something like, and I haven't even met him yet. She's like, I know I'm crazy or something. And she said, I haven't even met him yet. Bitch. Ari, oh my god. You did not have to. <laughs> it's interesting because the songs, Seven Rings, you know, she doesn't need a man. She can do it herself. She can provide for herself. And thank you next. Like, thank you next. Like, I don't need anybody. I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm having a good time. But then she's like, you know what? I'm bored. Break up with your girlfriend. I'm bored. I need, I don't know what that says about the end of the album. If she, I guess she like wants a man low key, but Ari, like, what the fuck? All her albums are good. I listen to literally every single album she has from Yours Truly all the way to Thank You Next now that I have listened to it in its entirety. I am I really liked this album. It was really good. I definitely think it's one of her best. Um, definitely like it a lot. Ariana is alive. Ariana is thriving. Ariana is well and she's here. She is doing her thing. She's doing whatever she wants and she's making music. She just spit out two albums within less than a year. So obviously she's putting in work for us. She is giving us and she's feeding us well. And I'm I'm thoroughly pleased. Ariana, I'm thoroughly pleased. Thank you so much. I will be at the Sweetener Tour and I'm, I'm going to shake my ass to literally every song that you play, no matter what it is, because I stand queen. <laughs> anyway, babes, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know if you want me to react to some more stuff or whatever kind of videos y'all want to see on this channel. I don't know, really. <laughs> anything music related, anything music related, I'll definitely do. But just let me know. Um, leave in the comments what's your favorites on the album. I'm really curious to see what songs other people relate to because I definitely relate to some songs that I've seen people haven't put as their favorites like on Twitter and stuff. So definitely let me know which ones are your favorites, which ones you relate to the most, which ones you think are the biggest bops, just whatever, really. So thanks again, babes, for watching, and, you know, remember to break up with your girlfriends because I'm bored. Later, babes!